want to extend my congratulations uh, to two major projects last, in the last couple of weeks that opened up in the Chifley electorate uh, that are providing hundreds of jobs to locals. Uh, to, to Costco, I want to extend congratulations through CEO Patrick Noon and all the team there that had opened up at Marsden Park, 300 jobs created there, allowing people who work within the firm to, um, who live in the local area to work locally as well. And it's been tremendous to see them uh, on the side of the Sydney Business Park uh, be able to open up their operations. The week before, Matthew Nito at uh, IKEA. Um, it was a pleasure to, and, and fantastic to actually see one of the largest distribution centres in the country opened up uh, in the electorate of Chifley, uh, there at Marsden Park, at Sydney Business Park again. Uh, a huge announcement. Great uh, to see those 200 jobs joined with the 300 jobs that are now opened up down the road, which I'm proud to say 75 per cent of the jobs there, as a result of efforts we had undertaken to make sure we could maximise job growth in the area, um, went to locals. 44 went to people from low um, socioeconomic backgrounds or um, kids from Aboriginal backgrounds being able to be employed there. This is huge. 60,000 jobs will be created by this project alone over the course of the decade. Um, this is a, the thermal, thermonuclear version of a jobs generator right in our backyard. It is a fantastic thing to see. It opened up because the infrastructure was there. The M7 um, has allowed uh, the Sydney Business Park, on which Costco and IKEA are located, to operate. Uh, there are a lot of other firms too that are taking advantage of well-placed infrastructure. Um, getting these jobs in place is a priority. 150,000 people expected to live in the area, in Marsden Park. Um, we need to make sure that the jobs are there, supported by good infrastructure. The other big infrastructure project is the M9. The M9 will be crucial. Um, otherwise, we will have uh, traffic jams as far as the eye can see um, and an impact on, on local job creation because the infrastructure isn't there. The New South Wales government announced just $2 million for the M9 project in their last budget. They're clearly not serious about this. Um, this project uh, needs to go ahead to unlock business development. We know hundreds of thousands of residents are forced to go east to work every day. But back in July 2015, the project manager for the M9 corridor told local media a shortlist of corridor options will be presented to the public by 2015, two years ago. And according um, the last newsletter for the M9 corridor on the Transport for New South Wales project landing page is dated 2015. We need this investment in this motorway now. We need to see things happening now. Otherwise, people will be paying very soon for the lack of, of infrastructure. We need that motorway, and the challenge is, will it be a motorway without a toll bucket on it?